Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. Once again it is time for a new action figure review and it has been a while since I've done a Joy Toy figure review because it's been a while since I've gotten Joy Toy figures. Uh, I've had a bunch of my figures that I've had for a while start to develop uh, joint problems. i um, not been too happy about that so I've been a little less enamored with the Joy Toy figures as of lately um, but recently used one in a custom action figure that I was really happy with how that turned out and uh, the stuff that they've been putting out uh, they've been doing a whole bunch of like 118 scale mechs this year which normally is just totally right up my alley but uh, as I've mentioned recently I am no longer working overseas uh, so I don't have the disposable income that I used to have and I really just didn't need like I think they're making 11 mechs this per this particular year and I just I'd have the room for them but I just I don't know what I would do with 11 different mechs uh, I was tempted to get a couple of them but again a little less disposable income this year so um, there's just been other things that I've wanted to to get and customizing usually takes priority over new toys so a lot of my disposable income has been going towards my customizing uh, instead uh, so I did do a review earlier today of uh, one of the planet green valley figures that I got uh, from a pre-order through boss fight studios so thank you boss fight for getting that pre-order filled um, I think I made that pre-order several years ago and it's just they're really hard figures to get a hold of and they're really hard to get a hold of for a reasonable price uh, so I have no no end of praise for boss fight for getting me uh, all three figures which uh, they didn't think they were going to be able to do but they did so thanks guys um, so back to the joy toy figures you know i said that they haven't been putting out but haven't been putting out a lot of stuff recently that's just like must have for me but you slap the you slap the name u.s navy seals on something and i sit up and take notice and go "Ooh, i need one of those and that is exactly what happened. They made uh, three new U.S. Navy SEAL figures, and I had to have them. So we're going to do all three in one review instead of uh, a separate review for all of them since they're pretty much the same figure, just with different accessories. Um, the box art is awesome. Got character art on the... It's probably just, probably just using a really cool filter. Uh, I would love to know what if they're taking pictures of these guys and using a filter to do that. I'd love to know what filter they're using to do that with. Probably something in Photoshop, um, because I would love to be able to do that for my own particular cards. Uh, if you are like a guru with filters, I am not. Uh, most of the photo editing I do is for like landscape photography because I do uh, semi-professional photography on the side, so I'm not like image manipulation is not usually what I use Photoshop for. Um, so if you know how they're doing that, let me know. I'd love to hear it because I'd love to be able to step up the game on my card art a bit. Uh, so that's what's on the front. U.S. Navy SEAL Salter on the side. Their logo on the top, logo on the bottom. Usual spiel on the back. Uh, it's nothing that we haven't already sometimes the English is funny so I, I'm just making sure there's nothing like hilarious on the back uh, it usually makes my wife giggle uh, please read these instructions carefully before you open this product actually they've gotten a little better somebody must have somebody proofreading this now some components are limited movability and could be damaged if inappropriately twisted or bent with excessive forces okay Maybe not quite uh, grammatically correct, but we're getting there. Uh, keep this product away from fire, heater, or any place with high temperature to avoid 
deformation. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they're getting a little better with the English, so because uh, that's different than what's oh uh, box. So yeah, three things I always review: packaging, playability, customizability. Uh, packaging is sweet. I love that packaging. I love window box stuff. So we got a nice picture of the figure inside and uh, a nice window box. I love window box stuff like this. I'm tempted to keep um, keep these and uh, use them for customs and just because I did a custom box set of my seals um, a number of years ago for 50, it's 15 figures in one big box set. Um, I'm tempted to keep this and use these for my own uh, custom figures, but as you can see behind me, uh, all the action figures that are on the wall are my customs. I kind of have a process down, and I'm probably going to stick with that as much as I would kind of like to use this for my own customs. I probably won't. Uh, so we got the usual package insert. Shows them with the gear off and then all geared up. And then includes belt, bulletproof vest, leg armors, firearms, daggers, etc. The picture, the contents of the accessories is subject to the picture. And then uh, on the other side, how to disassemble the figure. Keep away from fire, handle with care. The leg armors can be installed after removing the knee joints. The parts can be disassembled and installed easier after being heated. I've mentioned that several times. Uh, Brofen, Brofen, a little typo there. Uh, broken parts can be fixed by glue. A little, little typo there. So uh, proofreading is definitely not uh, one of their fortes. Uh, like I said, I've been a little, a little unhappy with some of my older figures busting shoulder joints recently. And so let's see what we got here. Definitely a new head sculpt. I really like this. I dig this figure. This is nice. Uh, is it the same buck that it has been? The sculpt looks a little bit different. I can't tell. I'd have to, I'll have to go look at some of my other figures in a little bit to tell you if this is a new sculpt or not. Uh, the vest, I think, is a new sculpt. Uh, it has a Couple grenades sculpted on one side, radio sculpted on the other side, and pouches, and then uh, communication gear. So there is a nice picture of the figure. I love the camo. Um, I'd seen a couple complaints on Facebook saying the paint apps aren't as nice as the promo pictures. Um, welcome to the real world. That's about all I got to say to that. Uh, show me any action figure that looks as good as the promo pictures. Um, I've never seen that happen, uh, specifically because they really go out of their way to make their promo pictures fucking awesome. Uh, so that is definitely a new leg pouch. Uh, drop, oh, drop leg. And then he's got a cargo pocket sculpted on the other side. He's got a nice IFAC kit on the back. Um, I really dig this figure. So where did I get this figure? These, uh, as always, I buy my figures from Locker Toys uh, out of China. Um, I had a bit of an issue getting them this time because I think they got hung up in customs somewhere. So my three-day shipping it did not end up to be three-day shipping. Uh, the sailors were at sea way too long for my liking. Um, let's see what do we got here. Ooh, we have two different weapons. I did not know he came with two different weapons. So we've kind of got the the M4, the two different M4 variants. We got an M203 on there, uh, the scope, the laser dot, and a silencer, and then one with just the uh, scope, the sight, the laser dot, and a silencer on that. It has a little peg on the back of his vest and I think that might peg into it kind of pegs into the I don't know if that it's supposed to but it does peg into the uh, stock on these weapons uh, sort of 
not as well as I'd like. I just, I think it, maybe the trigger, peg into the trigger. No, too big for the trigger. And then we got a little bag of gear here. We'll look at that in just a second. Uh, I really love the sculpt of these guns. Again, uh, I really want to see uh, Joy Toy make um, accessory packs. They have had the only really cool like backpacks with actual functioning straps that I've ever seen that have worked well. And I really like this figure. Yeah, um, you know, maybe it doesn't look as good as the production art. Maybe it does. I don't know. Mine look pretty much like they do in the friggin' promo pictures. I don't know what you're bitching about, dude. These look pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't... The other rifle kind of pegged in, but this, this uh, smaller one does not. So let's see what else that we have in the, that came with it here. I got packaging all over the place since I'm doing reviews today. So we got a little package here of... I don't know what we got package of. Oh, I think that's Camelback in there. I think that is what goes on that peg on his back. Looks like extra hands, and I believe there should be a pistol, and I believe this particular guy should be coming with night vision goggles. So we got another thigh rig here for his, uh, that'll be his left thigh. I'll have to heat that up and get that on there. I will pause the video for that. Extra set of hands. Um, huh. It's just hands with holes in them. So that means there is a ball joint in the wrists. I'm not too keen on that. I kind of like the hands that have the joints in them. Usually there's a joint that goes up and down. Usually there's a joint that goes in and out. Um, I don't, I don't actually see the point in these hands then, uh, cause they don't, they don't do anything. The, his left hand is kind of like, su uh, would support, kind of like supports the, the rifle. So you could switch it out to make him uh, left-handed if you wanted to, um, sort of, because the, the right, the double right hand is pretty much just the same hand that comes on the, it would, it would grab the foregrip on that, but it, it won't, there's not like a support hand for the right hand. Uh, yeah, it comes with a little camel back, which is pretty cool, which pegs on. body armor I am probably going to glue that in place honestly uh, I don't take my figures apart I don't swap out the, the, the gear I'm never going to resell these so I'm not concerned about resale value uh, I am more concerned about losing parts that's going to get glued on the night vision goggles so he's got the four barrel night vision goggles uh, which plug into the helmet like so and then you could probably reverse that yeah so you can reverse it and have them up Uh, usually one of the questions I get asked about these guys is how much did you pay? How much are these figures? Uh, oh, and then his pistol. Uh, we've had that sculpted pistol before. Definitely a different holster. Let's see if they have solved the problem of holsters holding the pistols because that has been, most of my guys are missing pistols now. I don't know. It looks like it's a little better. I'm not, it's definitely not as nice as like the Marauder or the Planet Green Valley figures. Only time will tell on that. But it seems to be a little more functional than they normally are. Uh, get back to the price point on these. Um, 
they're right at 25 to 30 bucks a piece um the bad news is uh last time i checked locker toys has sold out of these particular figures um i do think i did see them on amazon and they were more expensive i think it was like 90 dollars for all three of them so about 30 bucks a piece not positive on that uh i was just kind of scanning amazon last night uh well, those are kind of interesting wrist joints. So they have done something different with the wrist joints, which is, I don't know. Oh, yep, yeah, and that back, the camel back came off already. Uh, that will be getting glued on there today. I'm not going to do that right now, although I probably should because I'm going to freaking lose that thing. It'll stay on there long enough. I like that figure a lot. That was the Assaulter. Uh, I was going to save that one for last. I believe this is the uh, Automatic Rifleman is the second figure. Uh, they're not labeled A, B, or C or anything like they have been in the past. Uh, let's get the... Uh, yeah, see, I haven't even opened these. I uh, was working yesterday and my wife sent me a text... Uh, to let me know that they had come in because I've pretty much been bitching all week about how these guys were stuck in Indianapolis since the 26th of October. So uh, I really wanted these figures. I dug out my um, my first set of uh, Joy Toy Navy SEAL figures and was playing with those on my last, uh, last four-day off. Uh, and so I'm just in anticipation of getting these. I was like, oh, can't wait for new Navy SEAL figures. Uh, and then same, well, the same style of package insert shows all the gear it comes with and with them geared up. And again, how to take it off. All the writing is the same on the inside. I'm not going to read it again. Uh, again, the box is pretty cool. Box art on the outside, window box opens, yada, yada, yada. Cool packaging. Uh, playability, again, is one of the things I uh, always review. Playability is... Seems to be good. Seems to be good. I've had problems with the shoulders on these guys recently. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same yeah it looks like the same type of shoulder joint not really enamored with the shoulder joints uh they're really hard to replace um i had one bust on my custom the female custom figure that i used for i made a um i'm working on a mech i bought the halo mantis mech uh, for 40 bucks at Target. Um, and I'm turning it into a G.I. Joe Wolverine. Um, and so I needed a cover girl. So I used one of my Joy Toy female figures that I had um, for a cover girl figure. And she had a busted shoulder. And they just she'd just been sitting around. So... Uh, I wasn't too happy about that. Uh, I did was able to fix it, but I I had to heat up the torso to pull the half of the broken joint out of the torso, and then I had to Dremel out the joint that had busted in the arm, which was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so weapons, he comes with. Um, it looks like a bit of a different sculpt of an M203 or not M203 M234. I don't remember what that is. And then uh, the like M4. I really like this. And this looks a little better than the one that they have been putting out um, with the other figures. I would still kind of prefer the BBI one. Uh, I think this is the or the Elite Forces. I don't even think it's BBI anymore. Um, I like the Elite Forces one better. Uh, but this one, uh, this one's not bad. Compared to the other ones, it's it's a little better than what they've been putting out. So well, let's look at the pack here real quick and see what we got. Oh, the 
Yeah, different different plate carrier on this. Head sculpt is a little different. Uh, he's got the beard. I love the helmets on these guys. These are so, so accurate. The belts are pretty much the same. Um, but the, the plate carrier and the helmets are so well sculpted. The detail is insane. Uh, we've got another peg on the back. I'm guessing there's another camel back in here. Yeah, there's a camel back in here. Those are getting glued on. That is, that is gonna get lost if I don't glue it on. Yeah, let's see here. I'm trying to dump this out somewhere where I'm not gonna lose pieces. I end up throwing all my extra hands and uh, extra joints in a uh, like little flat Plano ta tackle box. So um, I don't, I don't always use them, but I don't always lose them then either. Oh, okay. So he comes with the night vision goggles too. I didn't think the, I thought only the uh, assaulter came with night vision goggles from the, I guess I didn't look at the production art uh, very well. I thought only got one guy who came with the night vision goggles and it looks like potentially all three of them do. Okay, I'm a lot more happy about that. Uh, so yeah, we've got the Camelback. I mean, it does go on there okay, but it's not gonna stay on. There's just no way that's gonna stay. That's getting glued. I'm almost tempted to do it right now. If I wasn't recording this video, these things would be glued on already. Arms are a little stiff, not too bad. And I'm gonna say, man, if you if you're if it feels like it's tight at all, heat it up with the hair dryer for about five to ten seconds on high. Um, you can boil and pop them. I've gotten that question recently. Which one is better? Because I used to boil and pop uh, figures. Um, I had a, I still have the coffee cup. I put them in in water and then stick them in the microwave for about thirty seconds. Uh, actually, but like three minutes actually. Uh, to boil and pop stuff but uh, if you stick them in water and then put them in the microwave yeah see the things are already coming off um, sometimes the paint will come off of the figure depending on the figure um, so I don't do that anymore and I found the hair dryer works more efficiently it softens up the plastic more thoroughly and it does it a hell of a lot quicker Plus now I don't have a microwave sitting on my customizing area. Yes, that thing isn't gonna stay on there. Those are gonna get, have to get glued on the second I'm done with this video. Uh, all right, I thought there would be, okay, I'm a little disappointed by that. Um, there's no ammo for my gun. Um, huh. Let me look at the package art. <laughs> uh, it just has the, doesn't show. Yeah, no, there should be a ammo box for my saw and there isn't one. Boo. A little annoyed by that. So yeah, um, I don't have the ammo box that should be with my, um, uh, my saw. Um, I'm not going to raise a stink about that. I could probably uh, ask for a refund, but fuck it. Uh, and I know they won't send me a new one because I know they're sold out of these particular figures. So not that big of a deal. I've got a bunch of these um, elite forces ones sitting around. He'll just get one of those. But still, for the price, that's kind of annoying. Uh, especially since I kind of like the the sculpt. Uh, I may see if I can just, I've got a bunch of ammo boxes sitting around in uh, for Marauder too. So I may see if I can just glue a Marauder one on there instead. So there is the automatic rifleman. Ooh, this foot's a little wonky. There we go. So 
I love the scope, love the paint apps. The Camelback's a nice touch. I, I like the, the peg, but it's not, it's not very functional. Uh, customizability. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to customize some of this stuff just straight out of the package uh, because I'm going to glue the Camelbacks down and I'm going to have to modify his saw with um, ammo. And I'll, I'll heat up the, the leg pouches and add those after the video. You don't need to see me do that. Um, so custom and plus customizability. These are phenomenally detailed, phenomenally sculpted, phenomenally painted. Um, if they weren't so expensive, I mean, if I could get these for like 15 bucks a piece, 50, even 20 bucks, I think 20 bucks would be my kind of upper limit. Um, if I had a specific custom in mind, I would probably pay full price for one of these. I mean, if I like, I need to make one guy in this buck would be perfect. If I would, I'd fork over the cash for it, but just using these for uh, customs in and of themselves, it's kind of cost prohibitive just because they are so expensive. Um, so I'm probably not gonna screw with with customizing these guys. Just throwing everything on the floor. I'll clean up later. Uh, so last but not least is the sniper. So I'm wondering if the backpack pegs in because he comes with a huge backpack. Insert some stuff. I'm not going to bother with that packaging. Oh, yeah, you know, let's look at the packaging real quick. So kind of the surprises here is I did not expect these guys to come with multiple weapons because the none of the production art that I've seen shows them coming with multiple weapons. Um but they do, so pray on that, but boo on the fact that uh, I didn't get a ammo box. Oh, no, oh, wow, okay. So yes, he comes with a backpack. That is a huge, huge fucking backpack. Um, when I was in Afghanistan, in one of the PXs, they had uh, backpacks like this size. Uh, they were made by uh, Tamale Tiger, I think was the brand, and I really wanted one, but they're really fucking expensive. Um, but I could get, you know, pretty much everything I owned in one of those backpacks. And I really, really wanted one of those. Um, but I I really had a hard time justifying the, they were like three or $400. Uh, I had the money, but. Uh, so anyway, they got straps, um, which is cool. I don't know if it's removable. It doesn't look like it's I bet if I heat it up it'll come off I'm not going to take it off um, just because I don't want to screw with it but I got to give it to Joy Toy for making backpacks with straps it's possible Hasbro do you see that it's a thing it can be done and I'll bet just a little bit of heat to soften those straps off straps up and it will come right off so man I, I love backpacks with with functioning straps. That just adds a whole new level of detail of realism. Uh, the plate carrier again. Uh, his holster is on his side and on his belt instead of his thigh rig. Um, my joints seem to be pretty decent on this. Uh, I noticed that there are no like unit patches or uh, flags on these guys. Um, I think the original seals that they put out had US flags. Uh, if you look at pictures, like real pictures of US Navy seals, they don't wear insignia patches. They don't identify who they are. So I like the fact that they've done that. Uh, the backpack does open it's a little stiff, a little stiff, and it's, you could get stuff inside. Not a lot, but I love the fact that this is a functioning backpack that, number one, that it opens, the pegs seem to work, real, the, the straps to close it work really well, and it has functioning straps. That is phenomenal. That is totally awesome. 
Ooh, nice. That's a new one. That, I don't have that gun anywhere. I like that. That is awesome. That didn't show up in the in the production photo, pre-production photos anywhere at all. That is sweet. It kind of looks like a. Boy, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. The drum magazine and the silencer, because uh, like the only thing that I know that comes with the drum magazine right now is a AA-12 auto shotgun. But you don't see shotguns with silencers, so. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I like it. That is cool. I really wish I could uh, sculpt, or I wish really, I really wish I could cast, because I'd be casting these weapons up. Uh, and that's a new sniper rifle as well. And you can see mine does not have a bipod on it. So did I get dicked on my bipod, or is it in here? Let's find out. And then you feel the suspense in the air. I need like a drum roll here. Suspense, 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 suspense. Uh, can't find the edge to open it. Open my gear. So let's take a bet. Did I get the bipod or did I not get the bipod? Did you say yes? Did you say no? I got the bipod. Sweet. All right, good. <laughs> I'd be really pissed if I got dicked on two weapons. Um, their bipods don't really function really well on previous weapons. Uh, I think Marauder stuff in the... Uh, well, this one works pretty well, though. Yeah, that works really nicely. I love the sculpt of this rifle. Um, the other gear that he came with uh, came with another set of hands. And yes, indeed, he came with the night vision goggles. I did not expect these other two figures to come with the night vision goggles. Um, so I am super stoked about that because it doesn't show it in any of the art or the, the promo pictures, I don't think, unless I missed it. Uh, I didn't look too closely at the, as close, I don't know. I didn't think these guys, I didn't think all three of them came with the night vision goggles. I'm glad they do. It was going to bother me that only one of them did. Um, but eh, he did, and I'm happy about it. Um, let's give him his rifle. Uh, what else came in the package? Uh, he is, he also came with a camel back. So I'm guessing the backpack is indeed meant to be removable. Um, if you're going to take it off, heat it up with a hair dryer to soften the straps off, straps up. And yeah, it should come right off. Um, I think that would be a real cool accessory because you could lay it down and have them, you know, resting over the backpack to, to snipe from a, you know, using the backpack as a rest. Um, it kind of hinders the articulation a little bit, but, and if you've ever, if you have ever worn body armor and a backpack and I have, and it's a pain in the ass, um, it kind of limits your own articulation. So, I mean, it's not out of the realm of realism because that's a pain in the ass to wear uh, the backpack I didn't that I wore was not quite that big, but it was pretty big because it was a full med kit uh, over body armor like that. Uh, I really like these figures. Uh, not seeing the complaints, what everybody, what the one particular person was bitching about for these, um, the paint job. I think it looks really nice. Uh, the holster holds his pistol. I don't think it holds it very well. And then he came with a same leg, same leg uh, rig that the other two figures came with. And then another set of hands, um, which I, yeah, that holster is not going to hold his pistol very well, which I am not going to uh, swap out hands. I don't see any need to do that. 
So there is your sniper. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to pause it here, heat up the leg pouches, the leg rigs, put them on, and then I will do a quick picture of them uh, all kind of posed. All right, so here they are all geared up. Uh, you can see the automatic rifleman or saw gunner. Uh, I took a extra ammo box that I had from Elite Forces, probably BBI, who knows. I had a, I have a bunch of these sitting around because I, I buy the figures just for the weapons and the play carriers. Um, two minutes with a Dremel, a couple of drops of super glue, a couple of drops of accelerator, and it's a whole new gun. Uh, I really like it with that bigger, um, I think that's better than even if I'd gotten the ammo drum that should have come with it. I think I like this better. Um, so I'm actually going to keep that particular weapon uh, instead of swapping it out for one of the the whole thing out for a, an elite forces weapon because uh, I do actually like this sculpt better than the one they've been putting out and it looks pretty decent with the elite forces barrel on or uh, ammo drum on there. Uh, there's a sniper um, and then the assaulter uh, and I did end up gluing the Camelbacks on. Sorry, this is kind of shaky. Uh, uh, and I'm surprised at how well, surprised at how well the sniper stands with that huge freaking backpack. But he manages manages it. And these guys are right next to my. Planet Green Valley gals. So I would imagine these guys are gonna go be are gonna go hit on them here as soon as this video is done. So we will leave them to that. Okay, so uh, that was the brand new U.S. Navy SEALs by Joy Toy. Uh, the one thing that I didn't mention in the vid the video, well, I was showing you the figures as I did add the the leg, uh, leg rigs, um, in the instructions, it says to heat up the knee and take the knee joint off. Don't do that. Don't do that. There's just no need. Those joints are finicky enough as they are. Don't do that. What I did was, uh, I always have a set of tweezers sitting around. I put those, each one of those leg pouches on a tweezer and I heated it up with a hair dryer for about 10 seconds until they were absolutely spongy and they slid right on. Don't fuck with those joints. There's just no reason to. Um, you can go back, rewind the video a little bit and take a look at the uh, left leg of the guys and see the uh, thigh rigs on there. Um, so the big three that I always review, packaging, really cool. Um, if you leave your stuff in the packaging or like to display it in the packaging, these is, this is perfect packaging to do that. Um, I think the customizability for the packaging exists. Uh, you could very easily uh, just add your own designs to the packaging, glue them onto the packaging, and have your own custom figure packages. And I think they would look very cool. Uh, I will probably end up throwing mine away. Um, just because I don't want three figures different than all the 300 that I have on the wall behind me. Um, playability, these are um, extremely playable with all the gear and the weapons they came with, because um, each one of them came with uh, a, a different rifle as well. So each one of them had two rifles, which I think is fantastic, because I didn't know that was gonna be there. Uh, they, they come with movable night vision goggles, uh, which I thought only one of them did. So I'm really excited uh, about the um, playability of these because they're way more playable than I thought they were going to be. And I, I am a firm believer that that big backpack will come off that sniper if you heat it up with a hairdryer because he did come with the camelback. So clearly it they expect you to be able to take that backpack off. Don't do it without a hairdryer, though. You're going to 
uh, it'll just be so much easier just to heat it up, wait till it gets spongy and then just pull it right off. Um, it's not as functional necessarily as like a GI Joe backpack uh, where it just pegs in or uh, what I do with my customs a lot of times now is I will put uh, magnets, rare earth magnets in the backpack and the figure um, and then just clicks that way. But these have straps. Honest to gosh, actual functioning straps, which I think is probably the coolest innovation in a action figure backpack ever. And it's a very simple one. Um, I love that. So the playability is, is there. <sighs> Whether the joints stand up to the test of time remains to be seen. Uh, they have on some of my Joy Toy figures and they have not on some of my Joy Toy figures, to be quite honest. So it's a roll of the dice. I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, other than we'll just see. Um, luckily, I, I know how to fix it if they break. Um, customizability, uh, just straight out of the package. I customized the weapon of the... Um, Automatic rifleman on that saw. I put on a bigger uh, ammo drum. Actually, I put on a ammo drum because mine did not come with one. It looks like he's supposed to, but mine did not. So uh, I modified a Elite Forces one and just glued it on. Um, I suppose if I had taken a little bit of time and effort, I could have made it so it was, you know, it it would peg in and peg out. But I don't. I've got so much stuff. I don't play with it and you know, any one piece enough to have the need to be able to take the, the ammo drum off while I'm playing. So I just glued it on and it looks really nice. And I glued the Camelbacks in place. Uh, about the only thing I kind of wish I'd done with those is I wish I'd heated them up, um, stuck them, stuck those in the microwave to see if I could uh, bend them to get them to form fit a little bit. Uh, Otherwise, customizability, if you were going to use these as blank figures, primer them and repaint them, man, the detail on these figures is absolutely insane off the charts. These will make fucking awesome custom figures if that is the route you decide to go. Just anything that you do, it just, I don't, I don't even know where to say what to say on how cool a custom figure would be if you use this as your base figure because the uh the detail is just insanely off the charts on these um these are probably my new favorite figures quite honestly uh i love pretty much anything u.s navy seals and these did not disappoint almost wish i'd bought a second set uh i don't know it, where these are available currently i haven't looked at big bad toy store to see if these are available for pre-order there uh, i like i mentioned earlier i think i saw them on amazon last night um but they are not available through locker toys anymore they sold out through locker toys um i've seen some people getting them off of aliexpress i don't know shit about using those guys and i've heard horror stories i don't know roll the dice i don't know some people have gotten figures off of there <clears throat> and they've gotten them from reasonable prices not me i don't know i don't know anything about that uh if if you want to get them you're gonna have to look for them because you cannot get them where i got them now uh and that's the so the price is going to be different they're going to be a little more expensive if you get them from big bad toy store if they have them you know what let's look real quick we've got a couple of seconds uh let's go Toy store. Ooh, that looks cool. There's a retro Marvel Legends female Loki that looks really awesome. Uh, wrong scale though. Uh, if it was a four inch figure, I'd be all over that joy toy. Uh, Joy Toy is doing uh, zombies. I have absolutely no interest in that. It is $200 for a set of five figures. Thank you. No. Uh, 
Uh, I am not seeing the seals on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, looking, 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 looking. Not seeing the seals on Big Bad Toy Store at this particular time. Uh, I could be wrong about that. Unless they've sold out already. Wait, there it is. Uh, they don't have them listed as seals. They have them listed as military team 118 scale figure set. And it is $104. Kind of pricey for three figures. I did not pay anywhere near that. Uh, we'll look at Amazon real quick. Toy. Scale figures. Dogs are barking at who knows what. Jack's barking, which means uh, somebody's coming towards the house. I'm guessing somebody's delivering something. Uh, they do have. Yes, Amazon has them. Um, they say they will be released on December 15th. Uh, it is listed as Joy Toy 118 scale action figure U.S. Navy SEAL team uh, collection model dark source toys. Uh, if you, They only show one figure, so you'll have to click on the, uh, the link to bring up the, the page, and then you can choose whether you want this, the assaulter, the rifleman, or the sniper, and they are $34.99 a piece. Uh, that is definitely more than I paid for them at Locker Toys. But as cool as these figures are, man, I got to tell you, I'm pretty tempted to throw down for a second set of these. Um, I don't know if I will or not. Probably not. I think three's probably enough on this. Uh, I threw down for a second set of um, the first set of Navy Seals in... It didn't really change my, it didn't really improve, improve my life, qu my quality of life very much. So I probably won't uh, throw down for a second pair of the second set of these. But man, yeah, if you got the cash to lay out 34, 35 bucks a figure, oh man, I think they're worth it this time. I, I'm a little hesitant on just because of the joints. If they could swap them out for joints like Green Valley, Green Planet, Green. Planet Valley or Marauder Task Force to use, I think these would be uh, the perfect action figures. Um, the only thing holding them back from me saying these are perfect action figures is the joints that they use, honestly. Um, if they fix those and went with standard joints that everybody else uses, I wish those dogs would stop barking, but they won't. I'll have to yell at them here in a minute. Um, they'd be perfect. So, I mean, it. Again, it's, it's subjective whether you think these are worth it or not. Personally, as a huge U.S. Navy SEAL fan, I had to have these, so... Goddamn dogs. Um, if I wanted a second set, I would not hesitate to pay 35 bucks a piece for a second set of these. Uh, or 100 for whatever it was through Big Bad Toy Store for the set. Um, so there you go. That's how much they are. That's where you can get them now. And that's how much they cost. Um, because I know Locker Toys is sold out. So you're not going to get them from them. Uh, whether you can get them from um, like AliExpress or, some, or something. I'm, I don't know. That's not or Taobao. I, I've seen people get stuff from there. I don't know anything about those. Uh, and of course, there's always eBay. Um, I would expect that they'd be even more expensive on eBay. But you never know. But there you go. Anyway, uh, that is a re my review of the new Joy Toy U.S. Navy SEAL figures, the set of three: the Assaulter, the hev uh, the heavy assault, the heavy rifleman, or the automatic rifleman, and the sniper. Um, they look fantastic. I'm happy to have them. Uh, I think they're great figures. Uh, I'm a little worried about the joints, but who knows? And. As always, please do that fun social media stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. And as always, thank you for watching.